Gentlemen, welcome to another cast done by Diggity on behalf of StarCast TV. Bottom left hand corner, we have Yamtube, aka Rush, starting as the White Terran, upper left hand corner. We have Sulky, starting as the Blue Zerg. This is going to be on Polypoid, which, despite being such a popular map, I have not seen in one of these games in quite some time, just in case you guys have forgotten it. Despite its uh, ubiquitousness, you have the natural exp It's basically like Old Vermeer, <laughs> where you have the natural expansion. Little wide gap right there, a nearby cliffside third that is a mineral only. 12 o'clock location that in fact has a 5,000 uh, 5, gas, which is why it's oftentimes the next take. One ramp leading there, another ramp from the corner, so it's not a, you can't just one egg it with the lurkers to blockade it off, which I think makes it a little bit more interesting. Uh, Zerg have to play a little bit more mutilus heavy, I think, as a result, um, and a little bit more map control oriented as a result. Uh, I feel like when there's those maps where they can just grab a third and drop a lurker egg on the ramp, Especially, although sometimes what they'll do is they'll do that on this map, but uh, they'll end up doing it at an, a distance fourth. But point being, like, you don't have the nearby third where you can just go ahead and drop the egg on top of it and no cares or worries. Anyway, Polypoid has been played ad nauseum. It's a very balanced map. It's good stuff. Looks like we are going to see initial first scout from Sulky to the bottom left-hand corner. So he's going to be able to spot Rush's initial play. I'll be curious to see what Rush fields quite often he is he was a proprietor of the uh two racks play early like i mean he lives up to his name rush where he was just playing very very aggressive two racks style in fact wouldn't be yeah i would be shocked if he went anything but two racks with that early medic marine kind of testing pressure sulky on the other side of the map i am very accustomed to him going for the two hatch mutilisk play and just trying to move games from there. It looks like he is sending out, I think that's a scouting drone rather than a build an additional hatchery drone. Although spawning pool just dropping isn't going for gas. Well, there he goes for gas. I was wondering if he's going to go for hatch before dropping at about the 204 mark. Suggest we are going to see two hatchery play to start. Now that that SUV is making its way in, you can see the redirect of that drone back to the bottom left hand corner. Overlord now hanging over that edge. Wants to make sure it's not in marine range. But it looks like upon spotting that 12 hatch, very lucky scout for Rush because he's going to be able to go one racks, no marine straight into command center as a nice adjustment with his build. Let's see if the drone goes for some harassment though to try to slow that down before that marine's able to take the field. No marine as of yet, period. Okay, finally the first marine being built. SCV pulling, that's going to delay that command center just a smidge, but worth it. Oh, got some free hits right there. Vicious battle on the front. And it looks like Rush getting the better part. I will say Rush's SCV micro tends to be wonderful. And looks like Sulky trying to... Looks like it was a double drone SCV fight on multiple locations. Gets an eyeful of the layer timing. Which looks like it's going to be just standard four Zerglings uh, being constructed. No saturation at the natural expansion as of yet. Although this drone returning. Let's see if he's the first onto the mineral pile. And... As the Zerglings starting to move out on the field, that SCV going to go ahead and take its leave. Drone continuing to mine minerals. Overlord sneaking in a little bit, wants to see whether that bunker was being placed or not. And it looks like four Zerglings now careening towards this bottom left hand corner. We have two Marines for a bit of a blockade. They, I don't think they're going to get there before that bunker finishes, though. But I'm wondering if there's going to be an SCV block, because depending on timing, sometimes very good players can sneak the, S, the I should say, the Zerglings along that edge. No Zergling speed. I believe, as of yet, preserving a few minerals. Bunker's able to establish three Marines in their command center up, and there's that second barracks as well as that gas being established, and the academy play. So yeah, very standard stuff from Rush. He was doing this, I think, even before Light. Uh, I feel like Light produced this tutorial video on the two racks opening play and a lot of the adjustments out of that, and I feel like that plus the adjustments on the Valkyrie build just became like the meta for Terran at large. Third in-base hatch, so it's going to be a 2.5 hatch, it looks like, with Spire alongside. And I kind of like this adjustment that Zerg have been doing lately. It, it makes more fun games, also, in my opinion, because you see a lot more of the Zerg aggression out on the map. And a little bit more shenanigans of, like, hiding troops and a little bit more pressure, I think, on Terran to position their troops properly so they don't end up getting run over are truly hunted down. First medic in production. Should see the second medic in not... Well, are we seeing the second medic? Waiting for that second medic in construction. There's the second medic. Engineering bay plopped down as well. Stim pack on the way. We already have the preventative creep colony being constructed. Second gas being grabbed. 
and I'm wondering if the second gas is going to lead to more aggressive mutilist play from Solki to start. It is possible we're going to see a plus one weapons uh, play from there. Zergling's starting to fan out, check the territory. Comsat station also being built. And interestingly enough, I'm used to Rush pressing from here, maybe because of that. So he does have the two medics on the field someplace, but rather than moving out, is actually holding his current position. Healed up on an SCV, it looks like, in the battle lines. Dropping the Comsat, maybe he wants to see the scenario. And it looks like the drone was waiting along that edge, yeah, but on the lack of move out is opting not to drop it. Two additional barracks being dropped instead. So Rush, rather than trying to expend troops, rather than uh, risking it here out on the front, is instead wanting to, I think recognizing that Sulky has very strong Mutalist Micro and recognizing his aggressive, uh, aggressive play is going to stay in more a defensive slot, which I think might be wise. Turret on the way, that turret seems a little bit late but there are Marines to fanning around it to go ahead and defend its initial construction. These two turrets of the natural expansion have already been constructed. And Sulky also didn't take an angle to really punish that over the natural expansion. Terran hate these sort of ledges. Looks like a missile turret is going to be have some delayed construction. Sulky just, I mean, it's fantastic. Just takes the absolute minimum hits. As he's pushing out, looks like some Zerglings were on the ground that the Medic Reinforce marching out as a full control group. And so we'll keep pulling back one Mutalist heavily damaged, but the rest of the Mutalist at full health. Now three turrets established, but still able to even up the worker count with that, which is absolutely fantastic on his part. CV's going for plus one weapons. He's going for that plus one weapons play. A lot of creep colonies dropping, which either suggests we're going to see a little bit more aggressive Crazy Zerg style of play, or we're gonna see potentially all in Mutalisk because with all of those Sutton colonies on the front, it allows additional padding of time for those Mutalisks to return to help defend, or you can just ignore the front potentially altogether for a period of time and just start onslaughting the Mutalisks from there. And we'll see how it plays out. Plus one weapons about halfway finished. I believe all of the, yeah, all of the Academy upgrades have completed. Still sitting on the four racks, which leads me to believe that Rush Wanting to play a little bit faster. Yeah, getting that uh, that factory down wants to grow that command center count. Four, upon seeing all those sunk colonies, a fourth turret being dropped. Zerglings able to sneak in and help pick some of them off. It looks like even a fifth turret wanted to get constructed right there. So he's still able to keep that. So loses a Mutalisk, but still able to keep that worker count even, which is, again, just show, is a testament. Now a drone moving out to go ahead and grab that upper right hand corner. I don't know if that's been, I'm not sure where that commsat had landed or not, but that could be a potentially vulnerable base, but there's a lot of territory to move. And I think Sulky recognizing that Rush is playing so defensively is instead feeling very courageous and dropping this half tree and realizing he might not need to worry about it. He does have this grouping of Zerglings to the right, just in case that troop starts moving out. So he might have a forward warning to go ahead and retreat, but you can see more, this is five missile turrets plus Marines interspersed to help defend against that corner. That is the level of respect here. The Zerglings recognizing the move out. Let's see if those Mulisks reposition to engage that army. Rush feeling a little bit timid, which is unusual for him. Very unusual. Wants to wait for that starport or radiate play. Potentially another turret getting wiped out. Has managed to at least get a six worker lead here. Another control group of medic marines starting to move out. Push those Zerglings back. This is where Sulky needs to start dropping back and worrying a bit about map control. He's already built some Zerglings in anticipation of this. And this in the 2.5 hatchery play, I feel like is the critical moments for Zerg and Terran, is whether Terran can push up and force either some, either wipe out the Mutalist count, wipe out the Zerglings through some solid positioning, or whether they can, or, or get up to that upper right hand base and potentially deny a hatchery, or whether Zerg can wipe out the ground forces one direction or another. And it looks like right now, and it's so much a, a game of keeping track of that army. So the Mutalists have found the Medic Marine army, the Zerglings swarming to the right, some of them getting picked off, to the north. It looks like there's not going to be a carapace upgrade alongside, but the Zerglings now swarming to the south, want to hunt down those medic marines, pulling back some nice defense from Rush, able to pile that grouping together, continue to apply pressure to that northern corridor. The Zerglings alongside, Rush regrouping, might want to wait for another medic marine grouping or even that science vessel to make his way out. He's built a siege tank actually, so we might repivot. So interesting play here from Rush positionally. So while that third gas is being established by Sulky in that upright in corner, he's got a siege tank out on the ground. Potentially could get that, that irradiate out some uh, science vessel in, in the forward force and maybe reposition this army 
to assault the front. However, Solki right on that edge. He's recognized the location, and it looks like he wants to wipe it out before it ever becomes a factor. And with the Zerglings out on the front and the Mutalists swarming overhead, more Zerglings coming in from the rear is successfully going to be able to wipe them out. And I don't think any medics are going to get salvaged out of this. Building all these units does, kid in, uh, kill, uh, kill, bleh, does hit that drone count a little bit, but a sunk colony preventatively being built. We already see Hive tech up. Evolution Chamber starting that plus one weapons. Hydra will stand in between. Really no lurkers have needed to be built up to this stage. Because there were so many units, a, a few less drones, but now that drone count can really be filled in. Two siege tanks on the ground, now spotted. I think Sulky got caught by surprise by Rush's positioning right there, but did see the siege tanks. So now Rush, now that he's been spotted, making a dive towards the main, the Mutal is looking for some maybe rear end units that are straggling to be able to assault. He's just gonna go for an all in counter attack. Well, I'm not gonna say all in. This is actually pretty solid defensive positioning, but trying to force those units back wanting those Zerglings to take care of those turrets on the lower lines before he dedicates them in, but the nice blockade by the SCVs actually evacuating of that natural expansion. Siege tanks now grouping up on that Sutton colony, and this is a ways away. There is no Defiler Mound, so... And the Mutalists look like they've been wiped out, as well as the Zerglings at the front. So Rush, able to defend home territory, is going to be able to wipe out the sunk colonies at the natural expansion, and maybe, and maybe able to walk from the main. Sorry, there's the Mutalists. A huge Radiate being dropped. Great split from Sulky, however, and able to jump right on top right there. So he needs to pick up the Siege Shanks and this attack force is potentially just going to end up losing that natural expansion hatchery. And I don't think these Mutalists are going to be enough. Now setting up Siege Shank on the low ground. Great play from Rush. So able to take out a natural expansion base, diving in, able to pick up that science pistol at the very least. Overlord's getting picked off in mass, and now, ooh, Soki looking in just a terrible position. Has He built that Ultralis Cavern, skipped Defilers altogether, and really is getting punished for it. I don't know if that was a calculated risk or a complete mistake. Maybe a calculated risk after he wiped out that army on the map earlier was just presuming that Rush was going to go for more of a macro defensive game instead getting caught off guard by the siege shanks he does have that second gas still capped but it's gonna be a while and he's still making no movements towards defiler whatsoever so still wants to try to wipe this out with just mutilus etc alone looks like there was i missed some damage here in the bottom left hand corner of maybe some zerglings going for a counter attack but uh but still rush drawing this army back he's done massive amounts of damage here probably could take a third if he wanted to fairly easily, just maybe wants to grow that science field account, have some more radiate out before really uh, he'll really feel comfortable doing so. Actually moving a science vessel out already. I'm not sure what this SCV thinks it's doing. Is this just a Ford scouting SCV? Wants to explode out in the field and explode it does. But the mules need to be very, very careful. One problem with that siege tank play is it does cut into the amount of science vessels you're gonna have. Another Radiate dropped, another fantastic split from Sulky, however, immediately able to pull that Mutal Scout, been very, very sharp with that. More Science Vessels starting to take the air. We got five racks uh, continually being built. Looks like a Starport with a drop add-on. The Mutalisk holding back a really sizable army, a drone in position to try to re-grab this base, but the thing is that Hatchery needs to drop. Ooh, some Ultralisks actually coming out in the field, plus four Carapace on them. I don't know if that's going to be enough, honestly, especially without the Dark Swarm. We'll have to see. This is a style I have not ever seen, honestly. Was, I've, I've seen Crazy Dirk, but I haven't seen Skip the Defiler Mound uh, play. The Mutalisks starting to press their way up. Not the best angle to engage. Some Irradiates not quite ready. Another Mules gets picked off. These Marines are hitting very, very hard with that plus two weapons upgrade. So the Ultras actually with the level four Carapace could be pretty strong, but I still don't know, especially if they get irradiated before this army hits and Rush just walks back out of this. I think he'll be still in a fine position. This is still just two gas that he needs to work with. So walking up, some Zerglings getting cleared out and an early irradiate on that Ultras to soften it up. Green's getting picked, pinned into that corner. Mutal's trying to pick off that side vessel along that edge. Ultralis down and now that front is breached and there were some defensive Sultan colonies up here. Did Rush overstep into Sulky, or did Sulky just underbuild defenses? Also, is trying to push from that rear corner, but there's medics now blocking the ramp with the positioning. So let's see if that Nidus Canal also gets picked off. Also, Radiate's being dropped on the on that corner. 
And Solki losing mining time on the main. The Marines just grouping up there. A few pithy Zerglings, or sorry, not pithy, uh, measly Zerglings, that's the word I'm looking for, trying to make their way through. Ultralis getting just lambasted from the reinforcements, and I think this is going to be GG, certainly. I'm shocked that Solki is not GG yet already. Maybe because he's dropped the natural in the bottom right, but this looks like a full breach to me. Marine's still fighting it out. It looks like a science vessel is going to get taken out. The Ultralis actually, I am shocked. Whoa, Sulky actually able to defend. The medic's pulling back out. Another grouping of Marines making their way out. Still very low on drones. At How did he defend that? Are Ultras just that? Maybe Ultras are just that good with this Carapace upgrade that they just don't care. A regrouping now of the medic Marines. So let's see if there's going to be a redrop of sunken colonies. Science vessel is getting wiped out, which is fantastic. Bottom right hand base being grabbed. All the looks like a large amount of drones escaped to that Nidus Canal to the top right. Rush has looks like an Ultralisk, two Ultralisks that are battered, and a handful of Zerglings to his name otherwise to try to defend this. Rush a little bit light on troops, but could just breach at any location. That Nidus Canal still up. Those two damaged Ultralisks now pressing out to the bottom right, recognizing they need to defend this bottom right hand base. Keep in mind, sulky has been starved of some gas this entire time. That was actually really, really... Oh, never mind. I was going to say that was fantastic on on Rush's part not to drop a wasteful irradiate on the weakened Ultralis, but dropping an irradiate on the second Ultralis, wiping them out very, very rapidly. And now he can... Oh, actually floating a factory ahead as well. Yeah, now GG from Sulky recognizing he has no massive beefy units left to defend. Was going to end up losing his natural in the bottom right-hand corner. Was going to lose the main, and that was going to be it. So GG's right there. Fun game regardless. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like and subscribe. Share the word. Uh, thank you for listening.